Good morning, everybody. Long time no vlog. <laughs> I feel like I have like briefly appeared in the back of two of Alfie's vlogs. So you can go and watch those if you've not seen them already. My goodness me, we are, we are nearing the end. <laughs> we are nearing the end of this pregnancy. And I have to say it has gone so unbelievably fast this last month i just feel like i can't quite keep up hence why i've just not really filmed anything i've not really been on socials i've really been either nesting like a mother effer <laughs> i've never nested this hard in my entire life i think when alfie and i started our to-do list of things we would ideally love to have done before the second baby we definitely went in much harder than we anticipated i think it was one of those things that once you start like peeling back the layers <laughs> you realize that there's just so much more to do and we just got ourselves into this like massive house mess that we were like okay we need to strip this back the most we've ever stripped this back we need to be doing like the biggest clear outs and we have we have so that's where most of my time i have to say has been spent it's been spent doing everything at one mile an hour i am essentially now a human sloth like we're near the end i have weeks to go i'm feeling uncomfortable <laughs> i'm feeling big i'm feeling pain <laughs> i have the worst acid reflux um actually at our last scan i think it was my 36 week scan am i nearly 37 weeks on tuesday i think i'm 37 weeks oh my gosh wait tomorrow tomorrow i'm 37 weeks um as you're watching this i'll probably be almost 38 weeks as you know the bigger they get the less you can see i don't even think they printed any photos because it was just like he put the um the thing on my tummy the thing what's that actually called i don't know <laughs> he put the the ultrasound gun <laughs> thing on my tummy and he was like you are all baby like no wonder you're uncomfortable there is no space left at the inn there's no there's no room and he was like you're not really gonna see a lot <laughs> scan i was like that's fine just check what you need to check but she's all good she's growing really well um i was a little apprehensive with this pregnancy because in my first pregnancy with Ottie, um it was around this time that her percentile started dropping um and she wasn't putting on the weight that she needed to be putting on at this point in pregnancy basically i don't know the scientific term but my placenta decided it had, had enough so that is why I was induced with Ottilie. Sorry, I came on here and I was like, I'm gonna do my makeup and like chat. <laughs> I haven't done my makeup at all. So I was a little bit apprehensive with this pregnancy that the same thing might happen again. Um, but I have been on medication, which has seemed to do the trick. And this baby is right on, bang on every measurement she needs to be at. And all is looking good so that was obviously the main purpose of the scan was just to check those things but very reassured by that so he said in the scan and he did actually show us on the screen that she has quite a lot of hair so that stuff like that always makes me so excited because it just gives you like a little bit more of a visual of what i'm expecting to see <laughs> like i don't i don't know if this baby will look the exact same as Ottie or totally different but she's got hair so could explain the heartburn and that the acid reflux it's all day <laughs> it's all day acid reflux this is far worse than my pregnancy with Ottie um I can't really lie down without acid like rising in my throat um <laughs> which is so unpleasant so yeah i'm i'm excited for this baby to come out and for me to be able to just eat and drink and lie down without acid 
um, I'm really excited about it. If there are any of you out there that are also pregnant or you are due around the same time as me and you've been like following the journey of this pregnancy, I'm sending you all the love because I feel like this part of pregnancy is so strange. It's like a really weird time where, I don't know, I feel like there's so much to do but equally you really need to like take your foot off the pedal and relax and you just don't have the energy. Like the frustration I feel when there's a task that I'm like, oh, I'd love to get stuck into that. And I'm like, oh, I can't, I can barely climb the stairs without having to like stop halfway up. So yeah, just sending you lots of love and positive vibes equally, even if you're not at the end of your pregnancy and you're just in the throes of something, sending you all the love. It's um, it's getting it's getting close to go time, and I'm starting to get kind of nervous. <laughs> I'm definitely feeling slightly different emotions this time than I did with Ottie. I think there was like a lot of first time baby excitement of like having never really done it before, and the like, I guess that like nothing can quite prepare you for like the first time you have a child. Sorry, just using the Vive bronzer. Although I definitely need to, this, this color, what is this? This is medium, okay. This definitely worked a little better once I got back off holiday with a little bit of a tan, but we'll blend, we'll blend, blend, blend. And this time there's, there's a lot of, um. There's a lot of other feelings and emotions that are intertwined um, that I never really felt the first time. Obviously, this being our second child, um, I'm just thinking a lot more about like Ottie and how this is the last time it's just gonna be Alfie, Ottie and I. You know, how is it gonna differ and like how's she gonna find it and like there's just so much to think about and also I'm like I want to be reveling in the excitement of bringing a new little girl into the family but then I'm equally feeling quite sad and guilty that I'm never gonna get that time back with Ottie and like really trying to make the most of that time like oh also I just think pregnancy hormones it just doesn't doesn't help it doesn't help the situation so yeah there's a lot there's a lot to process i guess and it does feel strange that in a matter of weeks our life as we know it now is going to change again just as you feel like you've got everything kind of sorted although do you ever feel like that with a child no <laughs> i feel like you get that for a very short amount of time and then there's a developmental um, change and then it all changes again. I I just feel like I'm so used to what life is now like I, I can't get my head around how different it's gonna be or how different it's gonna feel or like I don't know. Also I'm not gonna lie to you I also really haven't uploaded uh, <laughs> or filmed anything because I have looked like a toe, like a, like a human toe. I've had my hair scraped up in a bun. I've not bothered to do my makeup. I've done the very bare minimum because I've just been feeling so unmotivated and unenergized uh, that even doing my makeup and doing my hair is like a, a mammoth task in itself so it's a rarity that i bother with this which is why i was like today is the perfect day to start the last vlog of the year before we take some time out with the new baby the nursery has been redecorated i can show you all these things in this vlog um but yeah it feels a little bit like the dust is settling we have a little bit of like calm 
um and hopefully we'll get like a week of just relaxing most of the christmas decorations are up <laughs> which was something I definitely wanted to attempt to try and do before this baby arrived. You might be able to see, I have my hospital bag behind me. Well, my suitcase, um, which is half, I would say half packed. I've basically done that thing over the last like week where every time I've seen something that I'm like, oh, I must remember to take that to hospital. I've thrown it in there. So it is by no means organized to the level I would like it to be organized but it's halfway there I have started it <laughs> if something were to happen earlier than planned um there are things in there that I'm sure will come in very useful equally there are things I still have to put in there uh which are probably quite essential so I do at some point this week need to finish that you may be thinking, Zoe, all this preparation, please tell me that you have a name for your baby. And to that I say, no, <laughs> we do not. There was a name we kind of liked and then we went off it. <laughs> and now we have like five names that are all so almost similar that it's made it quite difficult for us to actually narrow it down and go right which of these do we actually like are we just picking one of them but then i'm like why is one of them not standing out i don't know we will have a name it's not that we don't have any we don't like it's that we have a handful that we like we just don't know which one we like more and maybe it will just be a case of seeing her and seeing what she suits i think in terms of actually choosing a name, I'd say Alfie and I are very on the same page, which has made this slightly easier. It's not like Alfie has suggested a name that I've absolutely hated and he's like, oh, but I really love this name and vice versa. That hasn't really happened. Thank goodness. Like we're very on the same page with names, which is great. Oh, just naming a human is like, oh, it's so much pressure and I just feel like at this stage in pregnancy I can't make decisions like I don't know if it's just my hormones <laughs> but it just feels like such a big final decision and that I find quite stressful I know you can change your mind I just don't want to do that <laughs> I want to be really set and happy with the name we've chosen this baby will be born <laughs> with a name <laughs> Uh, feeling so much more human I actually also had my hair done the other week Sam put more blonde in I'm feeling so much more fresh I feel like that's just what you need a bit of a pamper got my brows done oh anything for me to feel a little bit more myself these days is great so plans for this video i think it's just going to be a little couple of little snippets of this next week i'm going to show you the nursery going to show you otty's new room got a little bit more decorating to do in the house and it'll just be like a nice little like round up before christmas um so i do hope you enjoy the video i do have a clip actually of us decorating the conservatory christmas tree the other day so that I will insert now but um yeah I just I hope that you're good and I hope that you enjoy this vlog I mean I'll speak to you at the end but enjoy it <laughs>
gonna get my camera out because I don't think I've shown this room in my vlog, have I? You have. Well, I don't think you have. But this room used to be my office and I used to have a desk here where Alfie sat and I had a desk here and now the furniture from the office, like I haven't even updated these guys on the office situation. Sometimes I feel like, cause you do it, they've seen it. You feel like it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do feel like a lot of people that watch both of our vlogs know, but then I'm like, there must no, be No, I think there'll be a lot of people watch. that watch yours that don't watch mine, for sure. Really? Yeah. I don't know. So this is the upstairs office that Alfie and I have cleared. I actually, I think it was like a month ago, did a vlog where we both had just started doing the clear out and, I and was did you film in this room chair. yeah i didn't film I didn't oh show i was gonna say it i wish was you like did beyond no it was beyond. you couldn't hardly even get through the door it was, was just boxes and boxes of stuff this room was used as an attic basically we basically used it during lockdown originally yeah, as did, an office as an office we actually and used then it. since then it's just turned into storage, storage. and like We'll just dump that in there because we don't know what We'll sort it at another <laughs> yeah. point. You know like the drawer we'll that you have like next to your bed or whatever? Door. This entire room was like that. Yeah, this entire room was the Monica cupboard. Yeah. And I'm not going to lie, so was the room over there. And so was the room, like the whole upstairs was like one massive Monica cupboard. And Alfie and I were like, we'll deal with that another time. Got pregnant and thought, probably should deal with it now. Um, so now this room is like usable again and it's so nice. Like it's... Just, I love to get up here. Like, these do you want me to stand back here so everyone can see? Yeah, so these are my sofas from the office. If you come um, through the door, just so you get like a bit more perspective on the room. Look at it. And actually, I have to say, this has always been one of my favorite rooms in this house. Like, it just feels, I don't know. I love the paneling, I love the size of it. I love, I love the shape of it. It feels really cozy because it's of the really shape. It's really cozy. I've always loved this room, which is why I bagsy it as my office like way back when. Um, but yeah, I've got the sofas from the office, the Togo sofas. The rug from the office. The rug from the office. We've got the mirror from the office. And then this I've had like for so long. This is a little mid-century that I got on, I want to say eBay? Maybe. I think I, I think I got it on eBay and they delivered it. Um, and then yeah, me and Alfie now have a desk, which is a little bit messy because Alfie's doing some transfer in. I bought a new hard drive. <laughs> but not that we're planning to do any like work stuff in the next, you know, however long we decide with baby. But we now have a space to come up here, chill, um, work on the laptops. Do some scrapbooking, which is what I would quite like to do. Hide from each other when we just need a little bit of a break. So I just thought I'd quickly show you that whilst I was up here. We need to go out. Yeah, we do. We need to leave. But I was going to say something and I don't, now I don't remember what I was going to say. I've just remembered what I was going to say. I was going to say the reason I have the sofas and everything that was in my office room in here is because Alfie and I are going to be taking some time out of work next year for maternity paternity we just decided it as would, well as maddie as well as maddie who obviously works with me she's just had a baby very exciting very cute we will both be taking time off work and we just thought is there much point in keeping this much much larger office than is needed for that amount of time probably not so we actually decided to rent it out basically we've rented out the the majority of the office sectioned off one little bit and renovated that Ref, like refreshed it all put refurbed it in. there's desk in there for like the team that we do have which is literally two people now working with us full time whilst maddie's off and we're both off so we've got like a new part of the office that's a lot smaller it looks cool though I th it is so much better than what I thought. Yeah. Like, I don't want to say I prefer it because I love the big office and there's so like the brick wall and the stairs. Yeah. But for the size of the team we've got now. Just doesn't make sense right now. Yeah. The down, like the new office bit works so well and it's super lovely. So those guys will still be working there for whilst we're off. And then we'll see what happens in the future when we're back working. Maddie's back. If you want to take back over the main office, we'll just see. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> It looks like you're just filming the bump. 
<laughs> no, I no, am The camera is so slanted and low. We've made a little list of things we want to try and get done today because my mum is actually looking after Otty. So Alfie and I are using this as an opportunity to try and tick off what we can that might be slightly easier to do without a toddler in tow. First thing on the agenda is we're actually going to go to the supermarket. To the supermarket. We're going to get some lunch. And one of the things I did talk about in my newborn favourites and the thing that I will be doing for this baby is a snack box. One for Alfie, one for me. Keep it next to the bed when the baby's born and you come home with that baby and you're up in the night and you're starving and I'm breastfeeding and I'm like, I am so hungry. That snack box was one of the best things I think we did to prepare for our newborn baby. So that is one of the things on the list. It's obviously not, it's not like important like weeks before, but since we're going out anyway, I was like, we may as well just grab a few bits and just keep them like, just keep them. Don't open them. That's going to be the hardest bit. Not eating any of it. Yeah, we can't. And also not eating each other's. It's also the only thing that keeps you, keeps you awake at that kind of time. Like, <laughs> yeah. When it's 2 a.m. and you have to stay awake. Lucas Aid Sports. Because, Do you yeah. remember how many of them were those we drank? Gosh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Anyway. Ugh. Let's go. Snacks yeah. have been bought. Yeah. Lunch has been eaten. And it is now time for Alfie and I to tackle decorating the stairs. Okay. We're now doing the big fireplace mantle in Otty's playroom, which is just these little white company garlands. I have to say, all our garlands and lights, to be fair, have lasted, have lasted us a long time. Yeah. Yeah, have a little bit hanging off the ends, I reckon. As you can see, we've got the stockings up. We have actually ordered a stocking for baby girl, but as we don't know her name yet, um, we have not had it embroidered <laughs> because we don't know. But hopefully by Christmas, she'll have a stocking up there with everyone. She has a name. <laughs> yeah. And as you can see, we've already decorated this tree. Did you film this for your vlog or did we not? Yeah, I did. Yeah. You did. I this is so. Otty's tree, which is so colourful, so much fun, and just has loads of soft decorations on it, which I love. And we basically just let her decide where she wanted everything. Ooh. Apart from what, you okay there? Yeah, I nearly took that off the ceiling. <laughs> oh, are you helping, Otty? Are oh, you coming up? <laughs> you coming up as well? Yeah. Thank you. The lights are almost done. Do you like the lights, Otty? Yeah. They look good, don't they? What do you think? What? Does it feel Christmassy? Yeah. Ice skating. <laughs> ice skating. <laughs> Whoa, you like ice skating? Yeah. That's cool. Mom, wee! <laughs> Who taught you that? You show me your shop. <gasps> You're gonna go inside. Oh, that's That's Mummy's hair scrunchie. Hello. <laughs> Did you get him off your tree? Perfect! Yeah. Lovely. Alright then. <laughs> Do you want to get up? Yeah. Do you want to have a little look up there? Wow. You ready? <laughs> Can you see? Yeah. Does it look good up there? And that one. And over here. Does it look good? Yeah. This little Christmas market pop-up yeah, tent one. is this from Zara Home and it is the cutest this little tent ever. It's got a little door, it's got a little bell, it's got a little post box. It's got a bell, hasn't it? And we've been playing shopkeepers for days. It's Otty's, oops, dropped your cookies. Otty's new favourite game. Yeah. You join me in 
the nursery, which was Otty's bedroom. And Otty has now moved into what was the spare bedroom. And I'm currently using my label maker, which it brings me so much joy <laughs> and labeling everything that I don't really need to label because I think most of the time it's fairly obvious what you're looking at, but I do think it's useful. Oh my God, I'm so out of breath. All I've done is move from there to here. I do think it's useful for other people. So if someone's round and they're offering to do a nappy change for the baby, or it's 3 a.m. and Alfie needs a new sleep suit, or I don't know. My mum is like, oh, where can I grab a vest? Everything's labelled. <laughs> it's just easier that way. But also it does mean that when we've done a wash load and it's like all folded, it's so much easier to put it away when it's like so clear where everything goes. Yeah, that is what I'm currently doing. Labeling things that are really obvious that I don't really need to label. Hello. Hi. What are we doing? What are doing? Oh, I'm printing a label. Shoes and booties. Look at these. Nearly dinner time, you see? <laughs> Look at no, these. <laughs> Tiny little elf shoes. <laughs> the joys of having a Christmas baby. Um, what are you doing in that cot? I said, whose bed is that? She went, I'm sharing. <laughs> I mean, who are you sharing with? Sister. With your sister. Yeah. That's your sister's little cot, not your bed. No. Ring a ring a roses, a pocket full of roses. A tish. A tish. We all fall down. Mummy can't get down because I'll never get up again. The room is quite a mess, <laughs> but that is why we're in here trying to sort it out. We've done that thing where we've basically gone right. That's is for that, that or room. Is that not oh, the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life. We're just going through the like Ziggy Lou stuff. But I actually did a haul. Do you remember I did a haul? Went through all of that. My size. I want matching. Same. Look at these. Where have they gone? The tiny leggings. Like, do we take that to the hospital? Is that like her <laughs> outfit home? That literally looks like one of Otty's toys would go in there. <laughs> I know. I think one of these I has think we to take be that her going hospital. home outfit. I think so. This was my teddy when I was little. You can tell because it's got no. no I used to it. suck my thumb and like pick all the fluff out. This will be way too big to go home in. That's not to three. Yeah. These I feel like will fit. The size they are. Big. Newborn. So maybe we do that. Oh my that god! Goes Look at that. that goes with that. That goes with that. Oh my gosh! That hat. Yeah, I know. That's not not to three. I reckon she'll fit in that pretty quick. They're only predicting how... her size. Yeah, we don't know what size she'll be. She can be born. I think it's like up to twenty percent either way of the prediction. What was that? Must be a magpie or something. That's an owl. That's an no. owl. That's an owl. Squirrel? No, that's an owl. Everyone, let me know if I'm right. Let me communicate with that. Or like a buzzard or something. Oh, I can't do it anymore, that's awkward. <laughs> You're doing a terrible job. What about this one? I need to stop. I feel like newborn babies' feet are like weirdly quite. Well, yeah, they're that long, aren't long. they? Look. Yeah, I think they're they are. bigger than what you think they are. Right. So take that into the dressing room because yeah, that. I think this as well. I don't. I've packed sleep suits. We don't want okay. anything that's going to get poo on it. Do you know what I mean? Well, that's I think like, everything gets poo on it, doesn't well, it? Well, no, but like that's like a cute going home outfit. That's the exception, but we don't want all the cute Where outfits. Is going? Just put it in the dressing room next to my. Hospital bag. You going on a 10 day holiday to Greece? No. Or are we I... going to the hospital? <laughs> the size of that suitcase. But I'm going to have all my stuff on one side and all her stuff on the other. I feel like last time we packed. We had lots of bags. Yeah, maybe we did some loads of bags. And I had a big suitcase. Did you? I had a medium size. I don't remember a suitcase. Rattles, we've got little books. This can go on the shelf. I've done the nappy caddies. So exciting. Right, rattles, baby toys. I am doing a little bit of folding. 
um, I've managed to basically use all of Otty's old baby grows. Like I just kept like everything. I'm so pleased I did because it's not like my taste in baby grows or clothes has changed. And these are all such good condition, perfectly fine. I've washed them all. And now I'm just like folding them all and putting them away. And it has meant that we've really not had to buy that many um, sleep suits. Especially because you know, like most of these are just gonna get worn a couple of times um, because they grow so freaking quickly. They're all still great. They're all still perfect. It's gonna be so strange seeing this baby wearing, like a lot of these I can still remember Otty wearing and I have photos of Otty wearing them. And it's just gonna be so weird, like <laughs> putting this baby in these. I feel like folding up the baby clothes makes it feel very real. <laughs> and her like kicking me in the ribs every three seconds. That's a, that's, that's a good reminder. This is tiny. I don't think she's gonna need this. I think this was like tiny baby. I think because when Otty was born, she was, they were predicting her to be quite small. But I don't even know if Otty wore this size. Little muslin cloths, these are good. They're like tiny squares. But yeah, although the second day, I think she lost, she lost a tiny bit of weight. I think she went down to like 5'15". Um, but she still never, I don't think we put her in these teeny tiny ones. So those can go. This is the bit that I'm like, remember to enjoy this. Like, enjoy this bit. They're like folding and they're organising. Like, I do really enjoy. Who remembers when I bought this in Marks and Spencer? I do really enjoy this bit. Quite a fan of the like vests and leggings combo. Who remembers this one? Sleeping bags. We don't know what she's gonna like. Is she gonna be like an arms in gal? An arms up here gal? An arms out gal? Who knows? But we have many options. These hangers, by the way, they're like these tiny little rubberized hangers. These are from Zara Home. And I use them for like all of Otty's clothes. I still do. And I've repurchased for this baby because I love them. They're so good. Already making outfits. <laughs> Makes life easier. <laughs> Stay cute. Right, let's hang that one up. Look at this bump. I mean, this angle makes it look ridiculously huge. I will give you a bump update proper one when I stand up. <laughs> Baby leggings. That's not new newborn is it? One to three. Look at these little vintage ones that I bought. So cute that's one to three. One thing that I do want to make sure I do is purchase a vest or a sleep suit in newborn and then aged one. Um, because I did that with Otty and it's so cute to look back at them wearing something and then them wearing the same thing but a, a year later. So little, little fun thing to do is to, if you get a little vest that you're particularly into or that you really like, and you can put it on your baby like immediately. Make sure you get it when you buy that in aged one so that you can put it back on them when they're one years old and then you can like compare. Whew. How are you doing? Yeah, good. Okay, we've done a good stint in here for this evening, but I am done. I'm knackered. <laughs> So that's all I'm doing for now. I did just want to share with you some of the details of the nursery makeover, if you were interested. The wallpaper is by a company called Milton and King, and this is the Wild Garden wallpaper. 
and it is very pretty and very delicate and it looks like little watercolour hand painted flowers which I absolutely loved. We went for this really beautiful powder blue which I am obsessed with. Obviously before this was like a mint colour if you remember for Otty's room. Um, so it just feels very fresh, very different but I absolutely love it. And this color is a Dulux color and it's called Blue Babe. Just talking about the makeover. It's looking good. Yeah, how much do you love the like wallpaper color combo? Love it. I also love how different it is from Otties. Yeah. I really like it. It's still very like girly. I feel like Otties was girly, but it's, I don't know, it's just like a different vibe. I like the fact as well though that it's girly, but also blue. Because yeah. It's like, typically, the blue is obviously, typically. Blue for a boy. boy. <laughs> yeah. I just love this blue. I can't explain. It's like the most beautiful, like, powder fresh blue. I love it. I think it goes really well. And we've obviously had that done on, like, the door. We've ordered a new cot. This is actually from West Elm. It goes with the changer, dresser changer that we have already and also the little like bookshelves um so we just thought we'd change it up a bit otty's cot was white and we just thought we'd go for the for the dark wood and then this goes in our bedroom i ordered the snooze pod four i think it is which is obviously going to be next to us in the bedroom love that that comes off as well i know we didn't actually use this with otty we used a combination of different Cots. We basically tried everything with Otty, but in the end, I don't really know if she loved any of them, <laughs> to be honest. No. We just made them work. She did, and then we did. No. <laughs> so we're going for this one because this one gets so many great reviews. Um, so we'll, yeah, we'll keep you updated uh, whether this baby loves the snooze pod. I like that you can rock it like that. Yeah. At night. You might be able to attach like a little. <gasps> the rocket. Rocker, yeah, you know, That's the down there. The That's down there, look. Yeah, you might be able to just pop it on here. Oh, yeah. And then in the middle of the night, I'm just like... <laughs> searching for it. Time time time. At that point, you though, you may as well get the snoo. That's true. Get the snoo out. The, um, the side as well, so it's like nearly flush with your bed. Not yeah. Really, but nearly. It's looking good. And then this is getting full. This I ordered on Glassette. I'm very happy with it love it and then this i ordered the frame on glassette but i had this idea that i really wanted to frame this for baby girl um which is our announcement when we went to the photo booth to say we're having her and then put a little sample of her wallpaper to signify like this was your first bedroom and this is us welcoming you and we're really excited. I just, I feel like that's such a nice memento to have. Like imagine you had this of like your parents and your sibling just to be like, look how excited we are for you. And then it's like in your room, I don't know. I thought it was really cute. And I also kind of want to make one for Otty with her first wallpaper behind as well, just for her to keep. I don't know what picture we'll put in for Otty. Maybe just like some scan photos or um, some pictures of me and Alfie, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I really liked that little touch. And then I ordered this mirror um just to make it a little different i kind of wanted to paint it i don't know if i'll get time <laughs> this is from a website called i want to say it was like dal d-a-a-l maybe i'll find the link and i'll leave it below because it is such a cute mirror it's just like wooden bobbles all the way around and obviously that is gonna go up here um but yeah that is basically a little rundown of the room. We've obviously kept some things the same. Um, things like books, I'm like, I don't wanna buy the same books. So I'm just gonna put some that Ottie is not reading currently that I think look cute up here. Um, we've put some like rattly toys in here, some scrunchy books in there, some other quite like young black and white books in there no idea what i'm gonna do with the shelves i've also 
made up the nappy caddies ready to go i am getting so organized guys i don't want to be doing any of this when i get back so i'm trying to be as organized as possible nappy caddies ready for downstairs i've also done the like bedroom station so like on our little dresser in our bedroom i've got a changing mat nappies wipes the whole shebang that is all there ready to go yeah getting organized we're getting there we're getting there I said I'd give you a bump update. It looks a little odd because I've got my leggings pulled up. But there we go. This is my almost 37 week bump. Woo! My goodness me. Got it from two angles. <laughs> I am feeling big now. This is like uncomfortable. She's like up in my ribs. She's kicking me under here kicking me around the sides feeling very pregnant um and nothing really fits so i love that like a couple of vlogs back i was like yeah i'm gonna go through my wardrobe and like find some outfit ideas guys all i've done is lived in stretchy tops stretchy leggings and oversized jumpers that is literally all i've worn this is probably the last the last bump update you're gonna see so this is my almost 37 week bump Right, what day are we on? I think it's, is it the 20th today? It is the <gasps> 20th. This one. That's it, what's it gonna be? Oh, oh my goodness. What is that? Do you want me to get it out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's a sugar scrub. Sugar scrub, smell it. What does it smell like? Wow. So that is the Lush Advent Calendar. It's actually only half of it. We've already done half of it, um, which they kindly sent to me and it is so good. I don't know if I'm going to have many baths through December because I'll largely be probably postpartum. Um, so I thought that Otty and I could do it through November. So that's what we've been doing. We've been opening it every day of November. Um, and Otty's had like the most fun using some of the bits in the bath. We've got some bits here. This looks cute. Little reindeer. This one she was very excited about because it looks like a frozen bath bomb. And naturally we're saving the penguin, but we should probably use him soon. And then I wanted to show you Otty's room. Now, as you can see, we've gone quite out there <laughs> with this room. We wanted it to be fun, playful, reflect her personality, make it a space that she really, really wanted to be in and would enjoy as a two-year-old. And I feel like we nailed it. And also, I guess the most important thing is that she loves it so obviously it's night time i will show you again at some point in the daytime because it does look very different <laughs> in both this is the wallpaper how fun is this it's the eleanor boma let's play uh wallpaper it has so much going on i love all the colors i love how big the illustrations are and then i feel like this is not really that well organized but i mean it works for now then the color that we chose <laughs> for all the like woodwork and also for the fireplace as well is i want to say it was called valspar retro peach we wanted something that was gonna like pull out um some of the vibrancy in the wallpaper so we kind of went somewhere in between these two um sadly the sample that we received was only like the the um horse's head so we didn't have either of these colors um to be able to go to the shop and like match it up but i actually feel like this would have been too dark and orange and actually i think this is like slightly too pink and dark so i'm actually really happy with the color we went for it looks very orange on camera it is much more of a peach and i think in daytime you can kind of tell a little bit more but yeah it's a really fun space she loves it and uh, we're really really happy with it and i'm not gonna lie it took us a while to get used to like this really vibrant like peach color 
um, but now we love it. Also, did anyone else's parents put their pyjamas on the radiator for them? Because was that not the nicest thing ever? To get out of the bath and get into warm PJs on a chilly night. I, <laughs> I used to love it. Good morning, everybody. It is now Thursday and we are all up. We're dressed, we're ready, and we are heading into town to do a little bit of Christmas shopping slash hospital bag buying slash we want to take a little photo in the photo booth. And also, it's just been a really long time since we've just had like a nice little mooch through the lanes and it's a really lovely day and we figured, let's go. Let's make the most of it whilst I can still semi-waddle. <laughs> I'm coming! You look very cute today. Loving your outfit. Nice little spin. Adorable. Thank you very much. Right, we're in the photo booth. Otty has actually remembered, haven't you, that we that we came in here before. What do we have to do when we're in here? Photo bath. Cheese! Do we say cheese? Do your little boot up. Okay, are you ready? Yeah! <laughs> Do you want to choose faces? Yeah. Okay. Into there. <laughs> Is it there yet? I can hear it. Have a little look. Go on then. Have a little look. Is it there? <laughs> is it good? Is it a good one? Uh, do you like it? It's really good. Let's do another one. Yeah. <laughs> <Last> one. <laughs> let's do another one. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Alright, let's do another one. Huh? Huh? It's okay. coming out, Mummy. Is it coming out? Yeah. Okay. Oh, we'll wait for it to ding and then we know it's ready. <gasps> wait for it. Is ready. <laughs> Otty? Oh, what are you doing up there? Alright, we're gonna head in here and let Otty pick a baby. A baby? I'm gonna let Otty pick a present for baby. Do you want shoulders? But we're going in the shop now. What have you chosen, Otty? Yes, we do. I've got it. Panda. Oh, let's not leave it there. Oh. <laughs> Otty has chosen the panda for the baby. Otty, are you sure you definitely want this one, yeah? You definitely want this one for baby. Is that your present for baby? This one? Yeah. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay, right, you, hold you hold on it. to it. You give it a cuddle. Should we go and give it to the woman and pay? Yeah. Let's go and give it to the lady then. Okay. Good morning, everybody. It is week. 38 plus 2, which is actually the day I had Otty. It was an induction, she didn't just come at that time on her own. From tomorrow, 
I officially will never have been this pregnant. <laughs> so right now I am as pregnant as I was with Otty. 38 weeks and two days. I look it and I feel it. <laughs> I've tried to be a little bit festive today because I have Mark coming round. Now this is gonna be the last time I see Mark before I have this baby. So I'm really excited to see him. I think we're gonna do gift giving, which will be going up on his channel. I have mentioned this here before, but I'm gonna mention it again. Mark is doing Vlogmas. So although there is no Vlogmas here on this channel this year, Mark is doing Vlogmas, as well as Joe. Joe is also doing Vlogmas. I think they're both gonna do an amazing job. I'm very excited. I was saying on my Instagram that as a Vlogmaser, Usually I don't get to watch a lot of other people's vlogmases, especially not like daily, like properly keep up with them. So I'm really excited this year to be a vlogmas viewer. Can't wait. Do let me know in the comments if there is anyone else that does vlogmas. And I'm not talking about like Christmassy videos in December. I'm talking every day up until Christmas, there is a new video. That's what I wanna watch. I wanna be like addicted. I want that time every day where I know there's gonna be a video. I know that there's a lot of people that do like festive content, but I want like the daily, you know? I want like the proper, proper vlogmas from like day one to day 24. So let me know if there is anyone else that you watch that does do every day vlogmas because I'm uh, like, I can't wait. I can't wait. Mark will be here soon and we're gonna give each other our Christmas presents. Although I'm a bit gutted because his main Christmas present hasn't arrived. So I'm just gonna have to give that to him when he comes to me maybe at some point in December. He'll get it before Christmas, but it was my favorite present. It's probably one of my favorite presents I've ever given him. And I'm a bit gutted. You can see that on his video. I'm gonna show him. I'm still gonna tell him what it is and show him what it is. He'll just have to wait to like properly see it. Hello. So I am in Otty's bedroom because I remember saying in a previous clip that I would show you it in the daytime so that you get a better idea of the color. And I do feel like this is definitely a better representation of the color that it actually is. <laughs> in, it looks like a totally different color in every single light at night with artificial light, totally different. With the main lights on, totally different. Sunlight, totally different. On a gray bright day like today, I would say it's probably the most accurate of the color. <laughs> yeah, I've just been doing a little bit of tidying. Just need to catch my breath a second. Woo! Um, and then let me show you the wallpaper. How cute. I just love it. And then up here on the fireplace, we've just got some little bits and pieces for now. I kind of wanted to put a mirror up, but then I didn't because it's quite high. And I quite like being able to see the wallpaper and I love it also. She brought these up from her playroom because we've been explaining Father Christmas. So she knows he's gonna come down her chimney. So she's left him some cookies and brought up her toy Santa which is the cutest thing ever. Um, but yeah, this is her room and I'm obsessed. It's here. <laughs> <laughs> it's freezing, it's been snowing. It's been snowing, it's been hailing. It's that is a, that's a, that's a big bag you got there. You've been a good girl this year. <laughs> <laughs> that is weird. <laughs> Hello, sweetie. Hello, let me shut this and get you inside the wall. Oh. We've opened the prezzies. It was a good one. It was a goodie. It was a really great one. Also, Mark guessed one of the ones I got for him as he was opening it, which was so rogue. It was probably like my most psychic moment. <laughs> yeah. I, just, I don't know why, I just felt it, I was like. <gasps> you'll have to go on over to Mark's video and see what we got each other. Um, but, and then you'll have to show the book another time. Oh my God, yeah, for sure. Yeah, basically the main present that I got Mark was a photo book. You know, the books that I make for Otty. Incredible. But it didn't arrive, it's still being printed, but I did give him a little sneak peek of some of the many adventures that we have been on over the years. And there's a lot. And a lot, some that I've almost forgotten. I know. Just like, like not the adventures, but more like the stuff that we've got up to on the adventure. I know, like, like so many it. good memories. Yeah. But yeah, Mark's also got me some really lovely things. I've been very spoiled. Merry Christmas, everyone. I feel very festive now. I feel like we need to put a Christmas film on. 
when I got pulled into yours, they started to play it on the, on the radio now. <gasps> Just normal radio? Yeah. Not even Christmas radio? No, on. Oh. Okay, let's do it. Let's go into the living room. Let's get cosy. Mark and I have been chilling, watching the holiday, eating Christmas chocolates, and now he's off. Back to London. And the next time I see him, oh my God. I'll, have a, I'll have another baby. Another <laughs> I'll baby. have two girls. Oh, I'm so excited. Crazy. I'm excited for you to meet her. That's us. Done. Until next year. Until. No, I'll see you with, when oh, I've had I mean, baby. Oh, I mean like the, the gift giving. Oh, the gift giving. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for my presents. Thank you for coming to see me. And good luck with Vlogmas. Oh my God, here we go. Here we go, here, here we go, go here, here we go. go. Alfie and I are sat trying to decide on a baby name because it is now like the sort of thing that's waking me up in the middle of the night and I'm going, oh, oh my God, what's our child going to be called? Yeah, because it's like a, literally a couple of days away until she's born. You also need to tell them your, your new thoughts this morning. We had two names that were like oh. really close to, also ignore the fact I'm just wearing a vest. We had two names that we really liked that were very similar that were torn between. And then this morning out of the blue, Zoe's like, I don't think it's either of them. I'm like, really? One so now them, we're back to scratch, we've got no names. One of them sounds too similar to Nala, and now I can't un undo that. I genuinely think we'd get mixed up. Do you think? Yeah. Well, I mean, if you're not feeling it, we've got to be 100% on it, you know? I'm just going to grab a drink with your mum. I know, but I just worry that I don't think I'm going to be 100% on any names. It's Lovely. like it's like all of a sudden I hate every girl's name that is a girl's name. Such a hard decision. The closer we get, the more of them I don't like, which yeah, is not cool. somebody just messaged cool. me a minute ago that was like, don't worry, I didn't name my daughter until two weeks after she was born. I was like, but I don't want to be, I don't want. I, I kind of want to know, know who know she name. is when she's born. Yeah, I want to be, I want to be able to like say her name to her straight away. So do I. We did not struggle to name Ottilie at all <laughs> because we just had that name been on my baby names list for a really long time. It was easy. It stood out from all the other names. It still does. I still absolutely love that name. I just think it's such a good name. So many great Nick nicknames. Can't imagine her being anything else. I know that whatever we call this baby, once we are settled on the name, it'll be one of those things where we're like, I can't imagine her as any of those other names we considered, but the closer I get to having her, the more names I just don't like. <laughs> oh. We do have like, I would say we have like a handful of names that are all so similar in like, like if you were to group them as a genre, they would all be in the same Yeah, genre. they're all the same vibe. They're all the same vibe. I don't know if that's making it harder for us to pick. And then it makes it difficult because there's a lot of names we like. They sound so similar to Ottie. Or to Nala. <laughs> or to Nala. I'm like, oh God. <laughs> yeah, Ottie's got such a long name and so many parts to it that so many other names have bits of the word Ottie. Alfie in it. legit a minute ago went, oh, Tilly. Yeah, I was like, like I love the name Tilly. I'm like, oh yeah. Ottilly. It's literally <laughs> half of Ottie's name. I feel like with Ottilly, it, like, it's everything we mm. love in a name. Mm -hmm. The I E, the double T, the short loads of nicknames, the L I, the L I E at the end. The fact that there's lots of nicknames. So therefore, any other names that we like are really similar to that. So either they sound like it, <laughs> or it's not as good as Ottilie. Yeah. So do we need to go like completely contrastingly different, which isn't the names that we're naturally I do drawn like the, to? I do like the. I'm cautious saying things, and then we end up not naming her with what I'm going to say I like, and then I won't put any she sees it one things, day. I won't put things in video. No, but I do kind of like, I like names with like the IE on the end. So like do I. Like I like the matching Otty, and then like like but also oh, like I like Alfie, yeah, Alfie Zoe, Poppy, Zoe, Otty. Yeah. Uh, uh. I do like the the E sound at the end. That'd be good. Let's call her. Well, let's look in our list. 
they all have that sound at the end, mm -hmm. all of them. Mm -hmm. Apart from this one, which is the one that I think sounds too much like Nala. I think this is my favourite. Also, is there any nicknames? I think you could do? Is there any nicknames you could do for that? No, no, it would just be that's it. Which some people prefer because it's like then nobody else is calling your child something that your child mm. isn't. But I think I prefer it with this letter in it. Yeah, I like that. Like I really like that. With that as a middle name. That sounds mm. cool. Do you not think? Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. It's currently Sunday. We're having a very chilled day. I'm in my Christmas PJs. Otty and I have both just had a little nap. She's also in some Christmas PJs. Well, some half Christmas PJs. We're not too sure where the top's gone. Hello. And she came in to me and she said, what did you say? You said, what can we... You said, mummy, can I have... What did you ask for? Chocolate. With? Marshmallow. And? Cream. Yes, you did. She came in and she went, Mummy, can I have a chocolate milk with cream and marshmallows? And I was like, do you know what? That's a really good idea. So we've all got a hot chocolate. And what are we going to do? Decorate the tree. We're going to decorate the tree. Yesterday, we went to pick up our... Sorry if you can just hear Otty like sucking hot chocolate out through a straw. We went to get our real Christmas tree that we put in the living room. Mm. We went to Wilderness Woods. I filmed a little reel. It was actually very weird not like mm. vlogging going there. I probably could have just taken my camera and taken a couple of clips on this, but no, I'm okay, thank you. I'm gonna drink it like this. Oh. But I thought it would be nice just to mix it up a bit and just get a few little snippets on my phone. It was actually much busier than usual because we went on the weekend, which we don't normally do. But it's much more vibey there on the weekend. There's quite a lot of people there. There's lots going on. So actually filming the reel was probably a much better idea. Mm. But it does mean that we have the tree. It's in place and it's ready to be decorated. So I thought I would end this video on a bit of a Christmas high and film some of us decorating the tree. We also opted for a different tree this year. I don't know what came over me the other day, but I was like, I want one of those trees that smells really Christmassy. Like the ones we had growing up, the really like nostalgic ones. Is it called a Norway spruce? I don't know the difference. Usually we get a Nordman fir and this time we've gone for a Norway spruce or the other way around i can't remember one of them doesn't really drop their needles and is much like thicker and bushier and one of them is is like um spikier more dense and it does drop its needles easier but it smells incredible we've gone for that one so it does look a bit different but i'm kind of i'm vibing it and also it just smells so good like when you walk downstairs you can smell it before you even go into the room so I'm excited All about done. that. All done. Do you want to use mummy's spoon to get those um, marshmallows out the bottom? Yeah. Yeah? Mmm. Have you got them all? Uh -huh. I'm like halfway through my hot chocolate. I can feel the acid reflux burn. Anyway, I will grab the camera once we start doing the tree. The lights are going on. Oh. You've got a helper. Oh, have I got a helper? <laughs> you can help me. Why don't you help me do the decorations in a minute? Maybe not the lights. <laughs> Maybe not the lights. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. oh. Are you are you holding Daddy up? <laughs> you keeping me up. <laughs> We've got you. the film Father Christmas on. It's definitely a spikier tree. You might notice Alfie's wearing a glove. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it fell off. Do you want me to help you? Oh, there's only one thing for it. A snowman! Let's end it. Oh, well done. Oh, it's a cocker. Be very careful. It doesn't open, baby. Oh, no, I think 
Okay. Where would you like? Where would you like it? Dad just turns up to the house and just hides random little decorations on our tree without telling us. Yeah. What have we got left? A little house. A little house? And where would you like that one to go? My favourite is the snowman that's just resting on a light down here. <laughs> He's mad. <laughs> I'm going to have to explain this. We were playing restaurants this morning for breakfast. I was being a waiter and I was like, hello madam, welcome to my restaurant, you've come for breakfast. So now I think she's in like, she's in like role play mode and I'm madam apparently. Where would you like this one? I would like it like that. Should we put this one here? Yeah. I need up top. You, you want, want it right at the top? top? Do you want me to lift you up? Daddy, please help me with that up. All right then. Is he up? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> well done, Art. That's the best one. There you okay. go. Okay. Otty just said, "You do this one, and I'll film." Can you see me? Yeah. She's actually yeah. Really well. Okay, I'm gonna put this one on now. Yep. You're gonna film Ready? it. Make sure you can see when we do it. Can In you the see? Camera. I just. Do it. I want to. I want to. Hi, I'm Otty. Stand back a little bit so you can stand back. There we go. What did you want to say? I'm Otty. What's it time for? Bit time. Are you going to pick one? We've got our advent books back out. This isn't yes. the best quality because. The light is quite dark. Is that the one you're going to go for? Yeah. Right, let's open it then. Here we go. Oh, Merry Mouse's Christmas Eve. Should we sit and read it together? Yeah. Okay, come on then. The snow is sparkling white and deep. A robin hops from branch to ground and leaves her footprints all around. Can you see the robin? Yeah. The house is ready, the wreath is hung, and Merry Mouse waits for her guests to come. She joyfully hears... Who's that? Tanta. And what's this? Reindeers. Yeah, the reindeers, and that's the end. Did yeah. you like that one? Yeah. Oh, I had three books. Yeah. There you have a three. Bedtime is done. So we've come back down to the tree because we didn't fully finish it. It's actually much harder to decorate a tree with a two-year-old than I imagined because she wants to get involved, but she equally can't really do it. <laughs> so then she goes, can you do it? <laughs> Whack the do you want to, normally you're on my shoulders, but I don't think that's a <laughs> that's, smart decision That's right not now. happening this year. That's, I'm staying firmly on the ground. It's a little bit better. I feel like we've had probably... Let me just mute David Attenborough. David Attenborough, isn't it like an SAS program? No, I think it's David Attenborough. Five or ten thumbnails over the years of you on my shoulder yeah. doing this. No. It's just so <laughs> no, lovely. it's just you. I should have done it with Otty. Like that. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Perfect. That looks great. And I'm very that? happy with that tree choice. That's what I was about to say. Have you explained that we've yeah. got a different tree? I'm very happy with it. Zoe's idea. I like it. And we'll see how long it survives without everything just like all the needles falling off. Can we talk about how quickly we found it as well? So we picked up two trees. This was the second one. 
Yeah, yeah. and one. you only really picked the first one up because it was kind of in the way. And the first one was also way too tall. It wasn't yeah, really, like, it was an 11 foot or something. Foot. Like, it would have <laughs> just been ridiculous. So this was the first tree of the right height that we even looked at. Which never happens. Like, no. look how perfectly shaped that is. Oh, I love it. I do feel like it needs a few more baubles near the top, if you don't mind. Have we got any more? Well, there's some there on the floor. Where? Oh, have you these already ones? put them on? Yeah, I put them on. Oh, it might be worth taking a couple of the very low the ones one. that Otty put on. <laughs> I these ones there, it's like multiples. Yeah. Okay. Pop um, a couple of those up there, that'll be good. I also think this tree, because it's like a bit more upright and bushy, it leaves such a good area for presents to go underneath Yeah, it, it does. So I think this is like... Good present good. area. So good with presents under it. Tree is done. And I have now come to bed to end this vlog properly. And just chill just wanted to say goodbye for now this is going to be my last video before we become a family of five including nala um and baby girl joins us very very soon i just want to say a huge huge thank you to all of you who are always so lovely and supportive i just feel so grateful to have such a lovely community of people here um that are just genuinely the nicest people ever. A huge Merry Christmas to those of you that celebrate. I hope you have a lovely time and I will see you sometime in 2024. Also, remember to follow me on Instagram to see baby updates. Although I did see on Alfie's vlog when he said that quite a few of you don't have Instagram. So maybe we'll post like a little update. I think you can post things on YouTube, like a photo and stuff. So maybe we'll do that too. But yeah, that's it. That's it from me in 2023. I'm very excited just to have this baby and really hibernate and get cozy and just have that time um, to soak in the baby bubble over Christmas with a tin of chocolates, the fire on, Christmas film in the background and yeah just adjusting to life with two children i am gonna go to sleep now <laughs> i'm so tired we all know it's very early but yeah just wanted to do like a proper sign off and just say love you guys thank you so much as always thanks for your support in 2023 and just for being the best viewers ever and i wish you all the best for the end of the year Bye.